Has this ever happened to you? You go on holiday and you're excited, but then the hotel, they give you a form to fill in and you, you don't understand. There are many different types of form. If you stay in a hotel, you will complete a form. If you visit the doctor, you will complete a form. I am going to help you to answer the most common questions that we see on forms. At the top of your form, you may see the words please complete in block capitals. And this means please write everything in capital letters. You may also see please tick as appropriate. So when you have options, for example, Mr, Mrs, Ms and Miss, you can simply tick the option which is correct for you. On a form, you will usually see the word title and next to title, you will see different options. Mr. M, R can be used by men if they are married or not. Mrs. M, R, S is for married women. Ms. M, S is usually used by women who do not want to specify if they are married or not. So perhaps they were married, but then they got divorced or they are separated or they might use Ms if they have been widowed. So their partner is no longer alive. Ms is also a good option for a woman of an older generation who does not feel like they want to use the word miss, M-I-S-S. -S. Miss is usually used by younger women who are not married. You might also see different options, for example, doctor or other. Other can be used if you have a different title. First name, or first names is asking for your own name, not your family name, but your personal name. Another option is it asks for your middle name. In this case, you can use your first name and then have your middle name and then it will ask for your surname. Surname, also called last name or family name, is the name that you have in common with your family. Gender asks if you are a man or a woman. So the options may be male for a man and female for a woman. Age is asking how old you are. How old are you? Are you 20? Are you 40? Are you 60? D-O-B is asking for your date of birth, when you were born. So you must include the day, the month and the year when you were born. You may also see P-O-B, which means place of birth. So for this, you can include the town or city and the country in which you were born. They may ask for your nationality. So for example, are you British? Are you Australian? Are you Mexican? Marital status is asking if you are married or not. You may see two options, married or single, but you might also see the options married, single, divorced, 
separated. Occupation is asking what job you do. So you can specify if you are a plumber, a mechanic, a shop assistant or a doctor, for example. If you are not working at the moment because you haven't got a job, you can write unemployed. Or if you are not working because you are studying, then you can write student. Home tell means home telephone number. So the number of your home. If your house or home is in another country, then remember to give the special dial code of your country. So, for example, in England, the dial code is 0044. Mobile tell means your mobile telephone number. Again, it may be necessary to give a special dial code if your phone is registered in another country. Please note that if you are giving this information aloud, so you are speaking or you are listening to someone give you the information, then in English, the number zero is often said as O in telephone numbers. So instead of zero, one, two, three, we might say O, one, two, three. Email is asking for your email address. So if they write to you on the computer, then they have your email address. It is quite easy to write, but when we say it aloud, it is a little bit more difficult. Here is an example for you. Bob Smith at gmail.com Com. So notice we say at and dot. Bob Smith at gmail.com. Your address will be the details of where you have your home or where you live most of the year. In English, we would begin with the number of your house or flat followed by the name of your street. We would also include the town or city, the county, which is the general area in which you live, and a postcode. The postcode is a combination of letters and numbers that indicate where the postman or someone can find your home. So next time you go on holiday, I hope you will remember this lesson. Please subscribe if you haven't already and do comment and let me know what you have learned in this lesson. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care everybody. Bye for now.